You're doing great. I'd say I'd like to take all the credit, but you were in excellent health before you got shot, and your vitals look strong. Things are moving quickly. I could say the same about you and Maxie. Stop taking advantage of my daughter. I'm not. Maxie just kissed me. If you really want to know, she's the one who wanted to take things to the next level. What next level? You two are having sex? I don't want to know that, all right? Just whatever's going on, I want it to end now. Mac, I love you, but you are so predictable. I'm just looking out for you. No, you're a mother hen or father rooster or whatever. Sweetheart, you're in an emotional place. You're worried about me, okay? And this guy is taking advantage. This guy? Did it look like he was taking advantage? Yes. I kissed him. My point exactly. Stay out of this. You are so knee-jerk about the guys in my life. You can't possibly be upset about me and Matt. There is no you and Matt. I'd rather have you be with Spinelli. You know, the guy was a nincompoop and a social misfit, but at least you loved him. Matt Hunter is a ego-driven surgeon who's trading on your fear that I'll die. I'm still here, by the way. Matt is everything that you want for me. He's secure, he has social polish, and nothing to do with the mob. You should be happy about this. Okay, you know what? I don't want you to be with me just because it makes your dad happy. Or Spinelli jealous. Either you want me for me, Oh, I'm not interested. Hi. Hi. So, um, are you here to reserve a table for my Saturday show? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I take a rain check? Yeah. That's okay. I'm, I'm serious. I, I just, uh, well, I think Carly was very smart by hiring you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, is she around here somewhere? Um, yeah, she was here earlier. So. All right. I'll go check her out. Johnny, um, I actually had a really great time last night at Jake's. So. I did too. Brooke! Sound guy's here. Why don't you go talk to him? Okay, sure. See you around. Uh huh. Hi. Hi. What brings you by? This. You left this at my place last night. Did I leave that there? Yeah, you did. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Last night was fun. Yeah. You're easy to talk to. And you kind of surprised me. How's that? Well, you, you get it. No uh, judgments, no lectures on how I should find a good, decent job. You should, by the way. Thank you. But you never will. You're addicted to the risk. And you don't seem to care that you're probably going to die before your time. <laughs> like I said, you get it. We should get together again. Because it'll make Sunny see red? Because we talked about common goals. <laughs> Keep our options open, huh? Yes, tell the PIs to check in so we can coordinate our efforts. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you, and uh, thank you for your concern. All right. Hey. Hey. Hey, holding up. As well as expected, I guess. Well, Dante and Lucky are pulling out all the stops to find Aiden. Yeah. You gotten any sleep? No. But this isn't fatigue, this is frustration. My grandmother just decided to drop by and blame Elizabeth for losing Aiden. That, that's cruel. That's ridiculous. I mean, your, your baby was stolen from a hospital. What, what, what could have Elizabeth done? Well, according to Helena, Elizabeth willfully worked herself into an early labor, and if she'd only let me take care of her, Franco would have never had access to Aiden. Well, that's convoluted. And on top of the hell that she's already in, now she's doubting herself. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you and Elizabeth during this pregnancy. No, and now it's this... fine. You were busy. I understand. No, I was selfish. I was throwing all kinds of judgment at you and Elizabeth, and that was wrong. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect, least of all me. So, you're my brother. I love you, and I'm, I'm here now. Okay. You know, if you want to talk. And Thank you. Mike. Thank you. I appreciate it. However noble your motives, the fact remains you pled guilty to a Class D felony and are now in the untenable position of having to serve out the rest of your sentence. I don't regret my decision. Yes, well, be that as it may, the authorities have the right to put you back in prison any time they want, and I have no legal means to stop them. So do me a favor, please. 
try not to kill anyone else in prison. Get out. Two years. Early parole. Okay, Diane. I'll do my best. I'm sorry. If I sound annoyed, it's because I am. Sonny's obsession with John Zakara is making him more erratic every day. Max is walking around on eggshells. I spend half my time with him trying to soothe his frayed nerves. Poor Max. Yes, well, it, it wouldn't be so bad if my nerves weren't also frayed from having to take care of you. Hey, any wow. progress? The jackal continues to toil. We're uh, running out of time. Considering that attorney-client discussions are privileged, this is my cue to leave. Claire Walsh is put under the pressure. We need to maybe get you back to Pentonville sooner than we thought. Success. The, the, the jackal has a location for the demented one. 